This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Here's an unknown simon that I don't think too many are aware of. Everybody knows about the remine and the apple and the honey and the tzimis and all the various simonim that we partake of the night of Rosh Hashanah. But here's a good one that I don't think many are aware of, even though I think most people already partake of this particular food item. The minig of Rabbi Kiva Yosef Schlesinger, the author of Lev Ivri. His minig was, on Leo Rosh Hashanah, he would have a potato. And he would eat the potato, and he would say, Vihaaretz Ezkar. Tapuche Adama. Vihaaretz Ezkar. What's the meaning of this? His grandson explained, as quoted in the Sefer, Kamoit Se Shalom Rav, that if Klal Yisrael, Chas Shalom sinned, we say before HaKadosh Baruch Hu, we're not the only ones to have sinned. We're not the first ones to have sinned. It's the Adama that rebelled against HaKadosh Baruch Hu and did not produce eitz she, that, that the wood tastes like the fruit. Hashem said, eitz pri oisa pri. Hashem wanted the tree to taste like the fruit, but no, it didn't. The tree did not taste like the fruit. Instead, the tree only produced fruits, eitz oisa pri. And because of that, that contributed to the sin of Adam Arisha. So we say, Rebanu Shalom Veha Aretz Eskar. Remember that what we were created from had already sinned even before our very creation. And this was a, a Melitz Yosha, this is a Hamlatza, this is some kind of defense that the Leif Ivri would offer on behalf of Klal Yisrael through the agent of the potato. Even the potato, Leo Rosh Hashanah, is Malame Zuchus on Klal Yisrael. May we have many Melitze Yisharim in the Din. Shor Bizoicha, Fershnas, Bracha, Bahatzacha, Chaim Meshalayim, Lanu Ulacha Yisrael. Amen. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.